There he is. He is still alive. Cue the meme. I am... Look. Mathematically, I lost four Pokemon. I gained three in this area. I'm only down one net loss. So, as long as I don't team wipe, I should be okay. That means three encounters to go in the coastal area. And that's going to save me, dude. That is, that is everything to me right now. So... I, uh, I will meet you guys at the encounters. I am barely alive. I don't have much left to my name, but I'm going to go get some more Pokemon, so I will have something to my name. Here is to some amazing encounters. And by the way, I judged the stats on my Pokemon. Holy crap, my team sucks. So that explains a few things right there. Be right back. What the... Okay, well, that's, uh, that helps out a lot. That helps out a ton. Let me, hold on, hold on one second. I needed an encounter, and I guess I'm going to get one. Uh, full disclosure, I just checked the team. I just wanted to make sure if I'm going to run into a freaking shiny that I had the right team. Because I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Is this a, this is a legal encounter. If I don't have the Nuzlocke Pokemon, this doesn't count. This was another full-blown, full-odd shiny. Dude! <laughs> This is just working out great for me. You know what? I'm going to throw you in an Ultra Ball. Oh, my God. That was uh, That's awesome. Heck, yeah. Critical catch. Dude, I swear I just got here. I was jumping to the top of the mountain, and I was going to go catch something, and immediately I am rewarded with a shiny. Full-blown, full odds. I do not shiny hunt during Nuzlocke's. That would be an act of total desperation. I need a name for you. Janorico. A combination of Noriko and Janinjuice. Dude, dude. <laughs> A shiny. Heck yes. What is this? this? is crazy. Why do I keep getting shinies? I don't hunt in Nuzlocke's. This is incredible. Save the game really quickly. And that is that is insane. I cannot believe that that happened again. Dude, I came up here to jump off of here and get an encounter. The encounter was not up here, but apparently it was. So <laughs> that is absolutely insane. I love it. All right, let me get in place for the actual encounter. That's so cool. Let me actually make sure it's in the right box so I don't lose track of it first. Okay, yeah, it's definitely in the right box. So I came up here to get an encounter out there, and little did I know that would happen. Dude, that was insane. And that's another Pokemon, by the way, that has already existed in this Nuzlocke. So Janny gets to live again, again, again. Like, I don't know how many times. Not only that, but once again, Janny, a.k.a. Uh, Janinjuice's character, Janny, Janny is once again a shiny tree. Dude, this keeps happening. Here we go. I'm going to close my eyes and get the encounter right now. And this is the... Uh, so I'm going to have four encounters. Three normal encounters and obviously a full-blown shiny, which uh, under my shiny claws, I will not allow the shiny to go to waste. It will, go, it will become an eligible Pokemon. I'm going to close my eyes. Here we go. Straight ahead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to weave back and forth and back and forth, and then you guys are going to see whatever encounter it is, it is that I encounter. That's the encounter. Except it's execute, and execute, you have already been on the team, so it cannot be execute. So I guess um, I saw... Yeah, you know what? Let's... Okay, I'm just going to run into the same execute. Um, let's flip a coin here. I'm going to... This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say it's either Muck, since those were the other two eligible encounters, Muck or Tucannon. I'm going to roll a die. Evens, Tucannon, odds, Muck. Three, Muck is the encounter. All right, this crazy oil spill Muck. I said it back in uh, Gen 7, is that it is crazy to me that this Pokemon definitely looks like it's like, oh, gross. This thing is such a lazy, stupid design. Quite the opposite. In Alola, it was implying that Grimer has been physically altered by pollution in the water because he's got the, the look of oil. That or he was just altered by some crazy oil spill within a chemical facility. All right. That's one Pokemon down. And I, you know what? I dig it. I love this. His name shall henceforth be Contaminatus. Contaminatus is the first, or actually the second encounter, based on the fact that I found a full-blown, full-odds shiny. I love that that happened, dude. That is insane. In fact, 
I, I, I'm feeling so good. I'm going to, I'm going to battle this guy right now. Actually, uh, do I want to heal? Do I want to heal? I want to heal. I'll be right back. All right. So I healed up and I kind of took a look at some of the Pokemon moves. Um, I don't think I need to, oh, you know what? Actually, I'd love a Vigoroth. If that's my encounter, that'd be amazing. Um, switch you into the front. So I kind of looked at my Pokemon moves and I was like, I haven't really optimized the team yet. I will just kind of rush through some battles here. I'm, I'm going to go through some battles. I'm going to mix up the battles with the encounters because I don't do that. Uh, Leo the student. Normally what I do is I do encounter, 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 and then I go into battles. This time I'm actually like, you know what, let's do some battles and then the encounters. The Pokemon that I've got certainly aren't horrible for a... Uh, a gauntlet style, if you will, if I'm going to go up against elite trainers and such. They're not optimized, but... Um, so, dude, you are totally dead. Check it out. I loathe and hate that Alolan Diglett with a passion. Let's go Stealth Rock. You're both going to die. There's no way... Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Going for the Iron Head. This Stealth Rock isn't going to pay that many dividends, but I'll be all right. Nice. So, whatever your last Pokemon is, is going to be very uh, disappointed when it gets in here. Double kill, double kill, double kill. Ooh, nasty double kill. Look at that. Nido's on a roll. Nido is killing you, man. You're, you're going to die. What's your last Pokemon? Is it slacking? I bet it's slacking. It is Executor. Funny that you should break. Ooh, it's the big guy, too. Check it out. He's the dragon type. What's your other type? Dragon. You're not grass still, right? You're, yeah, you're grass. You're grass dragon. You're not. You're no longer psychic. So. So let's use a mega horn. And if he's got grass attacks, you have a focus sash. So I don't have anything to worry about there. Um, let's switch into. Yeah, just go with Atreus. This Mega Horn probably won't kill, but just in case he's got, like, Solar Beam, Giga Drain. Well, it's not sunny out, so but either way, if he's got any of his grass moves. Ooh, that's why we be careful about these things. Wow. And that sucks because I'm not going to heal. I uh, I will go a few battles before I heal. So um, do I want to utilize this opportunity? Ooh, that sucks. Too. I didn't realize I almost choked there. Uh, I didn't realize. I forgot. Yeah, he's nice. Okay. Uh... So do you think he outspeeds? I mean, he's an executor. What are my speeds here? So your summary, you're slower than he is at 80. You have 163. So here's what I think we're going to do. I'm pretty sure Atreus is going to outspeed him. So I'm going to use my, my healing item. That way I don't have to go into the next battle and I'm, uh, I'm super weak. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do that because I'm not stopping to heal. I'm, I'm in survival mode here. So, Atreus outspeeds and takes you out. Goodbye. And that is how we heal with efficiency. By the way, Leo the student, you're done. And like I say, I checked out the Pokemon I've got. Did you get? Did you get a good look? Those are Alolan forms, all right. Yeah, I, I saw those, man. I saw those. So let's go for another battle really quickly. I'll find another battle, and then I'll find another uh, encounter. Dude, I cannot believe it. I got a freaking shiny. That was insane. I see the battle over there. No thoughts, just vibes. You are not an elite trainer, I don't think, but I am going to swap out the team here just a little bit. Let me just give him one second. Actually, do I want an encounter? All right, so I think I, I had to go blow my nose, clear my voice, all that. I'm ready to finish this recording, or I should say continue on with this. No thoughts, just vibes. Let's rock then. No thoughts, just vibes. I'm just vibing. You? Uh, I'm just wasting you. You're about to eat some dirt. Alyssa the student. Dude, I was playing Salmon Run um, yesterday, and there is a clip I've got where a Salmonid, a uh, Kohonk in Splatoon 3, if anybody's like, what, what is he talking about, Salmon Run? Uh, in Splatoon 3, this thing made me eat dirt, and I was like, what the heck? I didn't even know. It fell from the sky and landed on me, and I, I went through the stage. <laughs> slacking. I'm not really impressed with having to fight a slacking. Uh, let's go confuse Ray. I feel like this is, a, this is dangerous with Cosmic. Giga Impact outspeeds. Oh, that is nasty. 
That sucks. I I use Confuse Ray on you, but I mean, depending on what Slowpoke is about to do, this could be really nasty. Don't attack Cosmic Void. Don't attack him. Or just eat this Earthquake and die. He won't. This isn't going to kill. Ooh, it does, it does. Okay, good. He used Yawn. Am I right? Everything's fine. Everything's okay. So I'm going to use another Earthquake and... Slacking obviously isn't going to attack me. So let's go ahead and use a healing item. Earthquake up, and my healing item will be a full restore on you. Uh, two healing items against trainers. That's the rule in case anybody's like, what, what is he doing? Why is he healing? Trust me, healing in a Nuzlocke is fine, but I don't want to heal too much because my sword and shield Nuzlocke, I felt like I was healing at every turn and corner. So what I did is... Uh, I have one healing item for Pokemon battles, two for trainers, three for extreme trainers or any any type of elite trainer. All right, so now that I am asleep, now the question is, what do we do? Shields down. My shields down deactivated. I thought, oh, because oh, I, I healed you. That's right. All right, so if he uses Giga Impact and he has Avalanche, let's go Earthquake and swap out to... Do you have... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I never, I never optimized your abilities. I wanted to have, uh, you know what, you know, because, um, yeah, I just realized uh, I, I had uh, Aqua Jet on a few Pokemon, and they're all dead. So if you're going to use Giga Impact, we're going to swap into Typhon, because Ice and Giga Impact are not going to scare me. The question is slacking. Do you go for something on Rhydon that is nasty? I used Earthquake, by the way, but I'm going to be asleep anyway. Trust me, it'll be fine. Hey, punch yourself in confusion. Let me, for once... Hammer arm. Ooh, looks like I will be swapping out with Rhydon after all. I was going to say, you, uh, you're you going to be asleep, so it's just a wasted move at this point. Uh, now, Slowpoke, what do you go for? Avalanche. What is Slowpoke's ability? I don't remember what he's got. All right, so with hammer arm, actually, you know what? Um, if he's got Avalanche, why don't we go for Drill Run and just see? Um, let's go Flash Cannon on Slowpoke. I think he's got own tempo, and he used Protect. Um, I remember you from the DLC in the, in the Galar, so I, I'm pretty sure you have uh, own tempo. I was waiting forever, by the way, for a Poison Psychic type. I was so happy that this thing was Poison Psychic. <laughs> All right, so fast asleep. Unfortunately, I guess I should have gone for him. Um, let's go swap you out with... Atreus. Yes. Yeah, we go with Atreus. What does your special def I mean your defense look like? Um, it's pretty weak actually, so um, you'll die. So actually Cedra might be the one. No, no, we don't want to go Cedra. Go with Atreus and then um, actually go with Draco Meteor and just take out the slacking. I am I'm backpedaling a little bit here. So, so Slowbro or Slow sorry, Slow Poke is probably gonna be using Avalanche. Again, and he's just stuck in it. So just take you out, go for the kill, you're done. And now I don't have to really worry about too much. Um, I swapped out to a Atreus just in case, but honestly, I doubt he's going to go for Avalanche. He does go for Avalanche on the grass type. Of course you would. Why am I not surprised? Use Horn Leech and kill this thing, and then a Flash Cannon kill this thing as well. All right, sweet. That takes him out, and then, uh, do I want a cup of coffee, too? That was another thing I, uh, I was contemplating. I, I, you know what? I should have got that coffee when I got up to blow my nose and all that crap. I uh, guess you managed to keep your focus. So hopefully my voice sounds a little clearer. I noticed, I noticed it was just gunking up. I was like, what the heck is going on? I can stream for five hours, and my voice is fine. And then I record for whatever, an hour and 20 minutes for the first episode, and then... I record for another, what, additional 10 minutes? And for whatever reason, that's enough to blow my voice out. It was like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, onwards to the next trainer. Check it out, I saw this bridge earlier, but before we go over the bridge, sigh, sigh, what are you sighing about? He just radiates coolness. You better not be talking about Drayton. He's, uh, he's a poser, man. Ah, he's pretty laid back. Daria the student. Daria. I think Daria, isn't that the, uh, yeah, that's the female version of uh, Dar Darius. So, gloom and gloom, you're on brand. You're you're just straight up a uh, depressing person. Uh, let's go ice hammer and knock out one of the glooms. 
And they are gonna have poison moves. So let's go. Let's go body slam. Yeah, let's go body slam and just try to get the paralysis. Paralysis on one of them. Ooh, it does a decent amount. And I get the paralyzed. That sucks. I, my cat is here to say hello, and I'm going to pet him. Ooh, sunny day solar beam. Is that what the, the, uh, the plan is here? Ice hammer. This should kill him like a single shot. Nice. All right. The other one, hopefully, will get paralyzed before you get a chance to use that solar beam. I dare you to get paralyzed. Go ahead. I dare you. Get the, get the paralyzed. You used Sunny Day as well. You you guys did not coordinate this effort correctly. Vile Plume. Uh, Vile Plume's voice in the original anime is very pleasant. At least in the English version. I don't know if that's the same voice in the in the Japanese version. But let's go for a protect. Bait out the moves. You're going to go for it. I know you are. Solar Beam goes to Kisara. Vano Shock. Yeah, that was a bait. I was going to say, if you go for Poison, it's on that one. If you go for Grass, it's on the other one. Toxic again? Oh, you got baited hard. That sucks. I don't know what to tell you. You're uh, you're definitely in a league below everybody else. Vile Plume, done. If you had started with two Vile Plumes, this would have been difficult. Then again, if you had three Vile Plumes, I mean, what's the point in I mean, your team is literally just Vile Plume, Vile Plume, Vile Plume. Um, go with Ice Punch just to make sure that we, uh, we take everything out. Sorry, go with uh, Body Slam. And you're done. This should kill right here. Later. Man, I'm going to have three Shinies on this team. And I'm trying to keep the Shinies alive. So <laughs> if I go with the Executor, the first Executor, how did he die? He really is just the coolest. All right, let's talk to her and see who the coolest is. Who are you talking about? I'd like to talk to him before I graduate. Oh, uh, we're not going to. Uh, he's so, oh, you're so cool. Director Cyrano? How, how? Yeah, no, no. I'm leaving it alone. That one's on the table. Just uh, walking away from that one. All right, so... Do I want to cross the bridge or do I want to get an encounter? You know what? I think it's... Uh, I can go for an encounter. Yeah, you know what? I say let's go for an encounter. So this is the beach right here. Um, yep, I can't go through there. The bridge is solid. So how about a... Yeah, let's go for a beach encounter. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm just going to run into the beach. Here we go. First Pokemon I encounter. Not even going to look. No looking. Just me and walking onto the beach. Just a solo beach encounter. I think I just heard me ride on come out. That's... I don't know. I feel like I should just keep going in a straight line. Eyes shut. Just give me a sec. I will uh, I will open them in a moment if I see nothing. And it's... it's a, what the heck? It's Inkay. Dude, I have not had a Malamar since the great fiasco of uh, Ultra Necrozma. That was the last time I had a Malamar. Holy crap, this is going to be awesome. How do I evolve you on a Switch? I kind of want to stop and just... Do I do this like I think I need to? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Let's do this live. I'm going to be recording when I do this. So Inke on the 3DS, you would turn the 3DS upside down and he would evolve. Uh, so I guess <laughs> let me try that. It's such a weird way to evolve. All right, let's do this. Hey, what do you think of that? Uh, Esmeralda is officially in the boxes. Ooh, I could have had a Tentacruel. Did you catch that? Why did I name it a female Inke Esmeralda? Well, I'll explain it right now because I really want to. I want to do this right now in front of everybody. Um, so it's Esmeralda because in the movie Hunchback of Notre Dame, um, it was Esmeralda that was the girl in the movie. And why would I name it specifically that? I name it that because Esmeralda was at a party called a topsy turvy party. Eh? Eh? All right. Give me just a sec. All right, you are never going to believe this. Apparently, I have to evolve him with the Joy-Cons. So, <laughs> I will hit I will hit it. I will uh I will up I will increase its experience with uh EXP candies. And then this is what you have to do apparently to evolve this little thing. First, using the Joy-Cons, stick them in the switch. 
Now turn the switch upside down, which requires me to take it out of the docking station for the gyro to work. All right, uh, there is a black screen right now. You guys, I have nothing. Now, evolve it. Hey! We'll throw it back in the docking station and look. <laughs> what a pain that was, but he's evolving at long last. Oh my god, I didn't, that's right. I, yeah, there you go. I was going to say, I got to re... I have to get the, uh, the pro controller reconnected. <laughs> well, at long last, I have an Amalamar. Oh my god, dude, that was, uh, that was definitely a pain. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a Malamar on the on the overlay now. This is gonna be fun. But is it? Don't tell me. It, yeah, there we go. For a second, I, it was uh, the controls were reversed, so I moved the joystick left and it went right. Anyways, Malamar, dude, that was fun. Hang on one second. I'm gonna fix its moves. All right, check it out, dude. I have a I have a great strategy for this Malamar, and I want to use it immediately. I love Malamar. Malamar is the legendary savior from my Pokemon Ultra Moon Blind Nuzlocke. And that was, God, that was just incredible. I'm part of the Elite Four. The part that shows up to challenge them, that is. Ha, ha, funny. Dude, you're going down. Uh, Pietro the student, you're not even an elite trainer, man. This is going to be easy. Surviper and Bruxish. Bruxish, I don't know. I, I don't think there's anybody on this planet that, that, that Bruxish could disappear from the game and nobody's going to be like, oh my God, they got rid of Bruxish. So check, check it out. All right. Psycho cut. And I gave it a razor fang. So, and then horn leech. Yeah, you're done. Easy. Heal myself back up. This is how you sustain a survival run when you have no healing items out in, outside of battles and you have no Pokemon centers. Check it out. One shot. Psycho cut. Destroy this thing. Nice. Dude, I have a Malamar. It was a crit. So Psycho Cut has a chance of critting, higher chance of critting, as well as I have a chance of flinching with that Razor Fang. So it's a pretty cool strategy, honestly. My cool self intro was all for nothing. Dude, I love the team now. Heck yeah. I, I am no longer depressed at the fact that I, uh, I lost so many Pokemon in the last Elite Battle. Forget it. I am rolling with this team. This is going to be awesome. Am I going the same way? I, I think I'm backed up. Yeah, I'm going the same way I came. So I have one encounter. No, I have two encounters. I have gotten two encounters so far. One was Muck. The other was Malamar, which I think I'll throw Muck on the team here shortly. Um, and then I have two more encounters. Or one more encounter I can get, plus Execute was officially a shiny encounter, which means that it doesn't count towards the normal encounter total. So where do I want to go from here? That's the question to be had. Uh, I say let's... I got one in the water, and I've got one on land. So I would like one on the beach. I'm not hearing anything, but I think I... Yeah, but judging by what I can hear, I think I ran into the water. Can you imagine if my eyes are closed and I drive right by a shiny... Got a Pokemon, but it is not a valid encounter. Once again, this is a Pokemon I have two of, so I cannot use it. Um, I am on a beach, though. So the first Pokemon that I see that is not Crab Crabrawler and Toucanon will be the encounter. I wonder... I might have rigged this one because, I mean, literally, Pikapek is the only Pokemon that spawns out here that I don't have. Which is fine because that actually goes perfectly in line with Pokemon Moon. Or I should say Ultra Moon, because in that Nuzlocke, there was a point in time where... Uh, I'm trying to think what the Pokemon was. Um, yeah, I went fishing, and I went fishing for like a half hour. There were only like three Pokemon that were even in that fishing hole, in that uh, beach town. Which I have forgotten so much of the Alola region that I, I feel like I want to go back and play that game a thousand percent. I, Moon was my favorite prior to Legends Arceus. Moon may have dropped down in a second, but just barely. So with that in mind, though, th this is perfect because I forced an encounter on a route where everything that is spawned in that fishing spot I already had. So duplicate claws, I could not catch something I already owned. And at the same time, it was like the Pokemon, the third Pokemon, I think it was like Skrulp or Dragalge, um, was the only one that was able to even be caught in that area that wasn't of the nature or of the species I already had. Uh, oops, uh, hang on one second. I didn't mean to do that. I need to, 
I need to rename this picky pet. Give me just one second. All right. I've named it Erie in honor of uh, a beach that I like that's on Lake Erie. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to leave it. I'm actually going to take Cosmic Void off the team, and I'm going to leave picky pet. Let me go find a trainer to battle, and I think I saw one. In fact, you know what? I think... I think I'm up for it. Oh, there was a Bell Awesome. I could have had a Bell Awesome. And also, Bell Awesome floats? I did not realize that. I guess, Picky Peck, I could have had something else other than you after all. All right, so I'm going to go over to there because I saw an Elite Trainer. And I think, I think we can do this. I think we can do an Elite Battle. But I do need to optimize the team before I dive in on that. So I wonder where I was when... Uh, okay, there were Slack Off, dude. I could have I had, had a really cool team here. Uh... I, I had really cool encounters. Yep, this is it right here. I know Lacey's secret. Well, I know I need to take a sec to prepare for you. In fact, I think we've done enough that I can heal and then I'll prepare. He's standing on the thing, dude. That's hilarious. I love that. That's hilarious. I can't believe he's actually standing on that and he's going to evolve right there. That's hilarious. I love that. All right, Trumbeak. One more evolution to go. I know Lacey's secret. All right, what you got, League Club member? I know Lacey's secret. Shall I share it with you? You shall get bent. That's what you shall do. Satoru of the League Club. Let's see what you got. League Club member, let's go. Araquanid and Tentacruel. Dude, he's channeling inner Alola strength like crazy. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm feeling. I was like, wait a minute, where where was Tentacruel relevant in Alola? I had a Tentacruel on my Blind Nuzlocke team of Ultra, Ultra Moon, and Araquanid was one of my favorite totem Pokemon battles because Araquanid surprised me in Ultra Moon because in Moon, that battle was a wishy-washy, but then in Ultra Moon, it was Araquanid. Let's go Beak Blast on the Bug, and then I bet he's going to go with Poison, and bug moves on Atreus, so protect. Bait out these moves. Interesting that Beak Blast's animation actually goes off before protect. Just an interesting thing to note. Nothing serious. All right, attack him. Sludge Bomb on the wrong Pokemon. You suck, dude. Leech Life. There we go. Okay, that was close. If you had both attacked Trumbeak, I, 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 uh, to Cannon, I'd be like, oh my god. Ooh, he lives. Ooh, he lived, man. He made it out of there alive. Um, let's go Bullet Seed and finish him off. I guarantee I have to outspeed him. As for you, let's switch into Typhon. I want to get some defense going here, and hopefully he switches to the correct target for his Sludge Bomb. Maybe the AI cheats and just read that he knew I was going to use Protect so he didn't attack me. So hopefully he's not going to read the fact that his... Oh, what? He went for protect? Okay, well, never mind. I guess my AI conspiracy theory is not true because he just misread my moves. One. Two. And done. Three. Goodbye, Araquanid. Nice. All right. That's one down. Uh, you've, got, you've got Sludge Bomb and you've got protect. So... In this case, I know Sludge Bomb is... I don't know what his other moves are. That's going to be the scary part. Um, hmm. So if I... Yeah, you know what? Uh, I feel like he's going to be using Surf or Muddy Water or something that's going to attack both of us because he can't use Poison on Typhon. And then Draco Meteor, and if I'm lucky, he'll outspeed the Kingdra. When I saw Kingdra come out, I was like, okay, I think I can just one-shot this thing with uh, Draco Meteor. I just have to get the attack off. Let's see. Oh, I do. I outspeed. Are you done? Oh, one shot, dude. Where's your elite trainer status now, dude? League club member Satoru. All right. What are you going for? If you go for Sludge Bomb, Muddy Water. Hey, I called that one, didn't I? Um, since I don't have to worry about uh, Ola Momola. I don't have to worry about Atreus. Against the water type, of course. Um, Ola Mamola. I gotta be honest. I could go for a Horn Leech and just kill you. I have no idea what you do. I mean, I'm assuming like Hydro Pump and Surf. Go for Protect. Let's see if he's gonna... He can't use Sludge Bomb on Typhon. So I want to see what he's gonna specifically go for. Um, 
Go for Flash Cannon on the Tentacruel. I know it's not going to do much, but I don't want to burn up my uh, my Draco Meteor yet. Let's see, because I want to see what he's going for. That doesn't do much at all, but let me see what he's going for. Sludge Bomb? Okay, yeah, he's going to try and take him out, so I can switch into... Oh, I can't switch into right on though, because Ola Momola. Mirror Coat? Well, I'm glad I didn't Draco Meteor you. Oh, uh, do you have... What do you have? Black Sludge? Yeah, Black Sludge. Okay, um... All right, so I am going to have to switch out. Let's see. Let's go into the Psychic type, man. Let's do this. Um, in your case, if you have Black Sludge... Yeah, let's go... Let's go Draco Meteor. Uh, no, go, go, go Flash Cannon just one more time. I'm pretty much stuck in there, so I don't want to lower my special attack down to nothing. I want to try and be able to hit him with the Draco Meteor a little bit. Uh, just, man, that does nothing at all. All right, Sludge Bomb on the Poison type. The poison. Ooh, that actually does a little more than I thought. Rain Dance. Okay, does he have Rain Dish? Yes, he does. Okay, well, I see what your strategy is now. Um, and so that actually, you know what? This kind of sucks. Let's go Psycho Cut, and we're going to have to try and come down very quickly. And then go with, uh, actually, yeah, you attack with Draco Meteor. Let's do this. Does the Protect. All right, well, now I see he's a staller. And, you know, this is really tough to keep in the recordings. Thanks, Sat Satoru. Where are you? I want you on camera. Okay, you suck because this is impossible. You're going to die. There's no way you're going to beat me. You're not going to kill anything. Everything's going to be okay. You're going, you're spamming mirror coats. What I want you to know is that you're a staller, and that's so tough for the recording because now there's going to be all this time wasted on you stalling. All right. Uh, this is, you know, I, yeah, I'm pretty much just going to cut straight to this point. I think I, I literally am just going to cut straight to this point right here. Super long, but still, that was like, I was like, come on, man. I'm not sitting here night slashing and... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take me hours to take care of you if I do this. So I switched into Atreus, and even then, it still wasn't super quick. But, all uh, right, that at least takes care of that, finally. All right, this guy's done. This Staller, I don't want to see him anymore. Satoru of the League Club, you're out. Goodbye. Satoru, let me see. You and your Staller tactics. Jeez, cool your jets, I'll tell you, all right? Now I kind of want to know. You, you, uh, dude, you were a pain. You were literally a thorn. All right, what do you got? What was the secret? Okay, you've earned it. I'll tell you Lacey's secret. Apparently, Lacey sometimes takes naps using one of her Pokemon's soft tummy as a pillow. Did you know that? Dude, we have all done that. We've all been there. Onwards! Alright, I'm kind of curious. I've lost a little bit of count here. How many battles am I at? Hope it doesn't feel too invasive to ask. Are you keeping up with your Pokemon battles? How many you got? Uh, hang on, get through the dialogue. Five students, and where am I at? So far, you've defeated five. Okay. Uh, let's let's go for a few more trainers. Um, little bonus for me, Paddle Blizzard. Oh, okay. Yeah, not bad. All right. So let me let me find a couple more trainers. If I can find like two more elite trainers, then we'll go with that. Ninety percent sure. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm ninety percent sure. I don't remember doing any trainer battles up here. I was busy freaking out from a shiny Pokemon encounter. Ever since I entered this school, I've dedicated myself wholeheartedly to training bird Pokemon. All right, well, you're not an elite trainer or a league club member. Annie the student. She seems a lot more docile. Let's see what we got. Talonflame and Toucanon. Kind of... Well, I mean, I, sh I was going to say, uh, you've only got two Pokemon, too. So I was going to say kind of the opposite of what I needed. But honestly, pretty much the only problem is Atreus. So let's go Beak Blast on your Toucanon. And then if I use Protect, I'm guessing I'm going to try to bait out both of them. Oh, for a second, I was like, what is that? Mm, actually, that's weird. So your Beak Blast, actually, you went for the same move I did, and yours is faster. So that's interesting to note. Um, but that said, I think you're going to target Atreus, aren't you? Because it, when it comes to the Elite Trainers or the League Club Trainers, there's a Flare Blitz. Boom, right into the Protect. Hopefully Beak Blast on Atreus. Yes, looks like you did. Nice. 
These guys go for exactly what you think you would go for. The elite trainers are the league club members. They go for like, you know, I don't know if they're predicting that I'm going to use protect or if they're just cheating and knowing that my input was protect. Yeah, you know what? We're going Baron. Let's go. Rhydon will soak up both of those attacks. Either way, it's like um, when when they when I go for protect against them, they start trying to set up or attack the Pokemon that they expect me not to attack. But these guys, they fall right into it. They go straight for the protect. They get baited. All right, Baron, you're here to soak up some attacks, and you can do it. Brave Bird. Okay, you switched. Doesn't make a difference, but you switched. And Beak Blast on Rhydon as well, I would hope. Yep, same thing. Get baited. All right, take out the two cannon. Nice. Rhydon, did I end up going with Thunder Punch on you? I don't remember if that was something I was going to do or not. All right, so let's go Beak Blast on you, Talonflame. And then you have Mega Horn and Stone Edge. So I'll take the Stone Edge. That'll be fine. All right, Talonflame, you're going to switch up your attack. The question is, what do you have? Steel Wing? Ooh, got to be careful about that. Got to be super careful about that. You definitely could hit harder. I'm fortunate. Um, you didn't hit as hard as... I mean, you, I, well, yeah, I was going to say, actually, come to think of it, I don't know why you didn't hit harder. I guess just because Steel Wing's not really that powerful, but, yeah, that really should have done a decent amount of damage. And no, Chirpy, Peeper. <laughs> she nicknamed her Pokemon. You don't see that very often in NPCs. All right, well, onwards. Also, fresh cup of coffee for anybody that was wondering. Went into the kitchen, made some coffee. Let's go. Uh, wait. Oh, for just a sec. I was like, you got to be kidding me. No, we're good. For just a second, you guys didn't look like you were the right color. Torchlit Labyrinth. Well, look at that. You had an underground facility as well. These secret underground facilities, man. Just like uh, the electric place. And check out what I found over here. An elite trainer, dude. Um, I'm in the league club. Do I? Yeah, let's just jump in. I was going to say, I don't even want to. I've got an optimal team, man. Watch out. I'm a strong one. Why, you ask? Because I'm in the league club. That's why. Um, well, I mean, he's just stating facts at this point, but he's kind of pompous at the same time. Ian of the league club. Let's see what you got. Lantern and Golem. All right. And it's an Alolan Golem, which is honestly, he's somewhat. I can't decide if he's cool or I hate the crap out of him, honestly, sometimes. But what I do know is that I need to switch out. Oh, uh, you know what? That, uh, yeah, I left him weak, though. I did say I was going to try and make this somewhat a survival run, so hopefully they use electric attacks on him and he'll be all right. As for you, let's go Horn Leech and just try to take out Lantern in one shot. Switch. Hopefully, like I say, electric moves all over the place. Here we go. Atreus just literally smack into Lantern and finish him. Horn Leech. And one shot. Down you go. Easy. First Pokemon is gone. All right, Golem, what you got? Oh, no. He, he blew up. He blew up. That freaking no. Hold it off. Hold it off. Hold it off. Oh, he pulled the pin on a grenade and threw it into the battle. I hate when people do that. Oh, man, that was close. Oh, my God. Electros. All right, what else we got? Rhyperior. Oh, this is terrible. So, how do we want to do this? Switch into Typhon. And... Do you think, yeah, I, I think a, I think a Horn Leech, no, because you know what, uh, let's do this. Let's take out the Rhyperior. Yeah, let's, let's try to damage the Rhyperior as much as we possibly can. All right, Typhon, you're out. Let's do this. All right, Atreus, I should have just full healed him, but I'm like, wait a minute, if I use... Horn Leech, I can gain back a significant portion of my HP, but most importantly, I think I can possibly go for a single shot on him. It all comes down to if Electros has fire moves. Do you think Electros has fire moves? 
Oh, dude, super effective single shot, and you're done. Nice. I was going to say, you're, you're defensively extremely powerful, but I wasn't sure if that was enough sometimes. Oh, my God. He's got flamethrower. Hold it off. Hold it off. Ah, elite trainers. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my God. I haven't lost a Pokemon outside of an elite battle in a little while. That's, uh, oh, my God. Wow, dude. I, you know what? I, I played everything right there. Um, I guess the only thing I could have done differently is... Yeah, I guess I should have attacked him with Drill Run. No, he was outspeeding that, man. There was no way he was outspeeding that. Instead of swapping out, maybe, maybe I could have thought about it. You know, there's only so much you can do sometimes. Draco Meteor and let's go Night Slash. Take this guy out. And hopefully you outspeed and he doesn't even get an attack off, dude. Citrus Berry, last desperate attempt, my friend. I'm going to crit and kill you. This is for Atreus. I can't believe that happened, dude. I mean, w uh, I played everything right. I can't have any shame there, dude. I played everything right. <laughs> everything I did there. I don't think there was anything I was doing better. Wait, but I'm part of the league club. How could I have lost? Dude, there's just there's nothing. There's nothing. I don't know I, I don't know what I could have done differently there, honestly. I think everything is just sometimes you can't win. <laughs> hey, Magmar, how you doing? Let me have that. Um, oh my god, dude. Uh let's go ahead and I guess well, let's do it right here, right now. So, Atreus, actually, you need to go to the Underworld, but the Underworld is full, so there's no spot for you. So, I need to literally get rid of these Gimmagool. I don't know why I still have all these Gimmagool. And then, Teal Mask Box, uh, let's bring Kisara back out. All right. Onwards I go. I just love Alola. So here's what happened. I had a feeling I hadn't battled her. I popped out of the cave and I was looking over there at Lacey. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't find any trainers in here. I don't know if I looked exactly thoroughly, but I'm pretty sure I looked around there well enough that I was like, okay, I would have seen a trainer. So I'll let her be the last trainer and probably the end of the episode. And then I'll go over to Lacey. So I just love Alola. You're not even a league club member, but that'll be all right. I've become absolutely obsessed with the Alola region since I came to this school. Well, then I would say you're probably at the wrong school. You should be at a different school. See ya, the student. I'll see you later when you move to Alola. Doug Trio and Executor. I absolutely despise you, Doug Trio. As for her, uh, I'm sure you're going to have a nice, uh, lovely side game where you go off into Alola and have a good adventure. In the meantime, I do not heal outside of battles. I'm in survival mode, so I am going to heal Baron right now. Especially because I have a really strong feeling that I want that Focus Sash procced up after all. Alright. Heal you up. Let's see what you got. Stone Edge. What did you do? You missed You missed two cannon. That's hilarious. Oh, I was absolutely right, dude. First off, you missed, and that sucks for you, but oh well. So sad. Too bad. Take him out. Earthquake. Absolutely destroys Doug Trio. I can see it coming 1,000%. Don't know about Executor taking too much. Yep, that's about what I predicted. Goodbye, Doug Trio. You're done. Dude, missed. Tucannon can take out Executor now. Actually, no, you can't. Ow, you're a Steel Ice type. This is pretty much terrible for all fronts of my team, so... Let's say you use an Ice move on Tucannon. Then I would want to be in with Typhon. Especially because I want to get that Dragon typing. And if you don't do that, you would use a Steel move. And I know a Giga Drain is coming over here, so Steel and Grass are coming. If I throw if I throw Kisara in here, that's a disaster, right? Yeah, because um go in well uh Yeah, if he uses steel, that's a disaster on you. I don't know what to do. 
Hmm. Let's switch into... Let's switch into... Oh, I don't know what to do here, man. If he uses Iron Head, I'm dead. So, yeah, you're going Esmeralda. All right. Here it goes. Now it's time to see what you attack with. Switch out. I would prefer they separate their their fighting. Ice move on Typhon, Giga Drain on Esmeralda. That's what I would like most. That is not what I'm going to get, though, because he went for it after all. Giga Drain. Ooh, that, that's nasty, dude. That's really nasty. All right. So, but here's the good news. I have one more healing item left in the tank for this battle. So I'm going to use Draco Meteor, and then I'm actually going to use a Max Potion. I thought I bought more Max Potions than this. Heal up Esmeralda, and then I don't know what you're going to attack with, but if I'm at full health, I have to imagine you have nothing that's going to kill me. Draco Meteor, take him out in one shot. Yeah, look at that. Goodbye. Executor, down you go. All right, I believe she only had three Pokemon. I saw it out the corner of my eye for just a second. Leech life. Ooh, that is nasty, dude. That could have been very bad. I am very fortunate there. Let's use flash cannon. And then if you're using leech life, who do I want to go into? Can't really. Hmm. Anybody have protect? Yeah, I, I had protect earlier and now I don't. Let's go to Kisara. I'm going to switch into Kisara, but then I think I'm going to be I'm going to be switching out a lot here, actually. Because if I go to Kisara, um, actually, I, yeah, Kisara is slower than dirt, man. I was going to say, how fast are you? But you're definitely going to outspeed Kisara. All right. Maybe a Draco Meteor? No, can't use a Draco Meteor. Ice. Special defense, though. I think I can take you out. There we go. Nice. All right. Now, I, yeah, but he leech life a little bit, didn't he? I wish I had Sucker Punch. Um, let's go Flash Cannon on you. Don't miss. And then, yeah, I don't have any priority moves. So now you're going to switch to... Um, Iron Head. So let's switch into Eerie, and then I'll switch back. You see how this is going. <laughs> this is this is how it's going, man. I just can't miss. That's the big thing. I don't have any healing items left, so you just got to be on the shot with this flash cannon. Oh, it took him out actually. I thought it was gonna leave him with a very small amount of health left. All right, we're good. Down she goes. Sia, the student. You may have beaten me in battle, but you can't beat me when it comes to my love of Alola. Actually, prior to Legends Arceus, guess what my favorite Pokemon game ever was? Pokemon Moon. So, what you got now? I'm going to take a trip to Alola soon, and I'll finally try those Malasadas myself. Grab her all or get out of here. You were literally standing there while I was trying to talk. Not cool. It's impolite to stare, and it's even more, or less polite, rather. To initiate a battle while someone's trying to have a conversation. So with that said, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I think that was enough battling. I, I know it's seven trainers. I called it seven trainers earlier, too. So um, in the last section, I said seven was enough. So I think this recording's going on pretty long. It's over. Yeah, it's a two-hour recording. So I'll cut this down. I Like I said, that's enough. Um, you won't see the Staller Fest, but you will see the explosion. That was absolutely terrifying. Ironically, the explosion didn't get me. Um, <laughs> that stupid flamethrower did. There's, there's nothing I could have done, man. You know, you, sometimes you do everything right, but it's all about minimizing loss, not keeping everybody alive. Humble and proud, I'm Nito Marquis, and I hope you guys are enjoying this series. For those of you who watch, it really means a lot to me that you're watching. I hope you are truly having fun watching this. That said, I'm having fun playing it, so even if I party alone, man, um, I don't want to. I would love you to leave a comment, but if you don't leave a comment, that's fine. I had a good time regardless. I hope you do too. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Lacey's up next. Here we go.